Good morning, welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm down a tiny river. It looks quite a big bit here, but it is a very small river. This is the River Arrow. We're on the Throckmorton stretch once again, Throckmorton Angling Club stretch once again. Come to a peg I've never fished before. I've never even seen it before, to be honest. Um, what we've got just behind these stinging nettles here is like a little sort of tiny mini sort of weir. And effectively, we've got a bit of a weir pool in front of us, or the weir runoff, certainly. It's a bit deep in here. I've been keeping an eye on match results, as I tend to do, and this peg seems to have been doing quite well recently. So I thought I'd come and have a go. I was actually passing, I've just been to um, Angling Direct in Redditch, because I've got a busy weekend of fishing, well, guiding and fishing in store down on the Y, so I needed a few bits and pieces, and I literally drove past this place and I thought, I'm gonna have a go for a couple of hours. It's gone 10 o'clock now, I've only got a couple of hours, really. Work have already rung me twice while I've been here, so <laughs> I can only put them off for so long. Um, but I've got a couple of hours, um, joking aside, and uh, yeah, just hoping we can catch whatever. I don't mind, nice mixed bag. I've got my float rod with me and a ledger rod. It'd be nice to catch on the float. This is my uh, Avanta X5 13 foot float rod, Dower 120M close face reel. Now this river is uh, quite renowned for its minnows, as we found out in previous sessions. So what I've done is bought some maggots with me, of course, uh, but I've also bought a bit of meat with me, cubed up some meat, there i'm not going to use all that by any means but i've queued up some meat um just to have a go with that as well if we do get plagued by minnows and like i say we'll, we'll see what we can catch that's the plan i've got this ground bait left over from the last session when we we're down on the avon it's just some census 3000 gross godons mixed with some mashed bread so we'll get this used up i can't use it this weekend on the y well i could but it's not ideal stuff to use there so yeah that's the plan very simple we'll give it a couple of hours see if we can catch anything now I do like to stand up when I'm trotting, generally, but we are quite a ways off the water here. God, there's loads of fry down here in the edge. That's a good sign for the future. Um, so yeah, I'm sat down because we might do some ledgering as well, but I might get annoyed by this and I might have to stand up, so we'll see. But we've got a stick float on here. It's not particularly fast, but we're just gonna run it through there where, where the current is and uh, see what we can catch. Now this peg is called the Ford peg for a reason. We're right next to the Ford. <laughs> so there might be a bit of road noise. Just let a van go through the Ford. I think it's throwing distance for those maggots. Yeah, right. Let's get a maggot on here. We'll have a go first on the maggot. See what we can do. Another reason for coming here was that uh, it's a bit windy today and I knew this was quite secluded but we're not going to lose anything aside from an hour's fishing if uh, if we don't do any good hopefully we will we'll get, as I say we'll give the float a go first and if, if we're not doing any good or if we're getting plagued we'll uh, we'll go on meat on the ledger well it'd be nice to trot a bit of meat through What's this? Funny little bite and then, whoa, 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 cut, tore off, oh, I don't know what that was, absolutely tore off, funny little bite and then it tore off, oh that's a good sign, I thought it was a minnow bite, not good that we lost it of course, hook pulled, hmm, Well, sort of not good start and sort of not good start. <laughs> Funny little bite, it was almost, that almost felt foul hooked. I think we're a bit deep now, we're dragging bottom too much. Well, we're not getting plagued by minnows, which is good. I think maybe that means there's a some bigger fish about. There we go. What was I saying? <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. 
Hmm. Right. A few minimum bites, but not loads. I'm going to go in a bit of meat. Out of interest. Well, so let's go on meat, nothing. Three or four runs through. Mm. That's why I stand up when I'm trotting usually. It's so much easier to cast. Or swing the bait out, I should say. More than a cast. Right, I'll go back on double maggot. Right, I think we'll call that the last, <laughs> the last run through on the float for now. Let's, let's do something different. That is just minnows, minnows, minnows. Sorry from that fish which we hooked, which I think was foul hooked. Right, gear wise, a dower extendable 10 foot rod. It is the Enzon extendable feeder. 100. Got a standard running ledger rig on here. If you want to see how to tie that up, I'll link you in up there and down in the description as well. I'm going to put a little Preston plug it feeder on. I'll stick a couple of maggots on the hook. And we'll see what happens, if anything, aside from minnow bites. Just wondering if they're on a static deck bait today for some reason. I don't know. They don't seem to want to, the bigger fish I'm talking, don't seem to want to chase around maggots on the hook below a float. Let's see how we get on with this. We'll get it to, uh, just over there. We might have to have a little bit of a switch around actually. Let's try it over there somewhere tail of the pool. There we go. That's not too bad actually. Let's try it there. See what happens. If anything. Oh there we go. Look. Minnows, minnows, minnows. <laughs> Straight away. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> See, that's a bit weird. It got absolutely smashed on the way down. As soon as it sits a, hit the bottom. Nothing. Unless they've had the maggots off the hook. I can't imagine they uh, have. Had two of them off. Let's try a bit of meat. Oh, hello. Blimey. <laughs> Didn't lost me rod. <laughs> Blimey. Just flicking some meat in. Well, they're clearly down there. This can only be a chub. Unless it's a barbel. <laughs> I can't see it's a barbel. Well, there are a few about in here. But, oh, wow. That went over, didn't it? Blimey. It certainly is, Mr. Chubb. It's a nice one as well. Look at that. Wow. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Decides to wake up a bit. Ah. That's a cracker. I say, nearly took me rod in, as you saw. <laughs> God, he's a cracking fish. No wonder he nearly took me rod in. Well, that was on meat. As I said, I was, just took my hands off the rod because I was flicking a bit of meat in. How's about that? Absolutely wonderful. That's a cracking fish. Right, I think we'll break out the keep net. Well, that's cracking. 
a couple of casts on uh, maggots and uh, yeah first cast on meat right down in the middle bang right we'll try that again <laughs> most definitely can't believe how fierce the bite was wow It was literally like a barbell bite, wasn't it? As I say, the rod was going. <laughs> it's only this that stopped it, I think. So just about to put some, put some more meat in. Just to get some going through the swim. I was just thinking, you know, if we're gonna go back on the float, we're gonna need to keep the meat going in and the maggots just sort of going through the swim. Why not? Well, we've had an hour and a half here. Loads and loads and loads of minnows on the float and maggots. That one fish that I think was fouled up that we careering off down there and we lost, fell off. This lovely chub we got in the net. Every time I go back on the float on maggots, get absolutely minnowed to pieces. I go on meat, nothing. Maggot feeder, nothing. Yod little nibble, but nothing, bizarrely. Um, and I've just finished off on ground bait feeder with meat for a couple of casts, perhaps 10 minutes or so. Nothing doing. I've got itchy feet. I, I, can, I can string it out another half an hour. So I think I'm gonna have a wander down to these, there's a peg or two a bit further downstream. I think I'm gonna pack all this stuff up and just take the, the ledger rod, a few bits and pieces, and we'll get off down there. For whatever reason, I can't get anything going in here. I'm not sure why. Whether it's me, whether it's what I'm doing, or whether it's they're not interested in what we're throwing at them. Did fancy fishing maggots if we could, purely, you know, just to see what we could catch. Some dace, some roach, some gudgeon, some perch, who knows. But I can't get, get past the minnows and, you know, realistically probably with meat only gonna catch a chub. proper clang then and I missed it somehow. Right, we will give it another 10 minutes. <laughs> that was a proper bite, wasn't it? Clearly something down there. Perhaps I'm being a bit impatient, but I am a bit impatient. <laughs> if I'm not getting bites or indications of anything, I, I, I just want to move, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> the grass is always greener in another swim. Right, we'll give it, we'll give it a five minutes, this cast, and then I'll, uh, well, I'll start to pack away now, to be honest, Put a few bits and pieces away. There's a tiny grass snake swimming across the river, across there, it's coming straight towards us. It's only about this long. All right, he's turned around, he's changed his mind. <laughs> no, he hasn't, he's turned around again. I don't know if it'll come out on the camera, he's not very big. Certainly not a foot long. It's right in the middle now. It's like he's having a rest. I think perhaps it's a bit colder than he was expecting. <laughs> well, how's about this? How nice does that look? This is Y1. Peg number. Fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. We've got the float rod here. But uh, yeah, traveling light now, not got too much longer before I need to be gone, really. 
it's approaching midday so uh, yeah still not really sure what I did to that last peg to kill it but I managed to do a good job of it <laughs> whatever I did but we'll see what we can do in here looks very chubby doesn't it with that cover over there just use this ground bait up. There's this one and there's another swim a little bit further down wide too. There you go. Looks like the place to cast to me. God, a bit windier here. Right, let's see what happens. about 10 or 15 minutes fishing up here near this cover nothing I'll just drop that in a bit lower down stream just where the deepest bit will be obviously it's quite narrow here and it opens out obviously the banks will undercut across there I'll just chuck that in basically the the deepest bit what I would think is the deepest bit that's got a bit of flow that's where I would suspect there'll be fish did it in the right place two minutes in the right place <laughs> oh he's trying to get under that cover no 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 come on out well he's no monster but it's a fish wonderful to catch a fish from a swim you've never fished before you've never even seen before well that's about that absolutely cracking so nice as i say to to get a fish from a swim you've never fished before right nothing else in there let's get this fella back and we'll uh, just get down to y2 for 10 minutes See if we can winkle one out of there as well. So we can do the hat trick. Go on, fella, back you go. Gone. Right. Ten minutes in the next one. We've got uh, this shallow water here, as you can see. Bit of a pool in front of us. Running off under a bit of cover. Right. I really will only give it ten minutes. I need to get gone, really. only a fleeting visit this it's turned into a bit more than a fleeting visit <laughs> but never mind I've cubed this meat up smaller than normal as you probably noticed I've got a, got a meat cutter it does 8 mil well they do seem smaller than 8 mil but they are supposed to be 8 mil Probably the best bet. Oh, there's a bit of depth there, that's good. Oh god. Give the tips covered in sand. Right. Always on the tip. We'll perhaps have a cast or two in here and then we'll have to clear off. It's banging away already. Certainly alive this river. And I still haven't been with it in anything other than terrible condition. I don't know if you can see down here. I can see four or five foot down here into the water. It's, it never fishes when it's like this. We're still managing to, to winkle a few fish out. There we go. Well, that worked, didn't it? Blimey. 
few little taps. Oh, and that's an eel. <laughs> Very delicate bite. Oh no, we're gonna have to do some snake wrestling. Oh dear. Oh no. I'm not looking forward to this. That's a cracking eel to be fair, <laughs> from a little river. But uh, yeah. Hmm. This is gonna be tricky. As soon as I grab hold of it, he's gonna go absolutely nuts, isn't he? Let's get him in the net and see if we can sort him out. He's not a bad eel at all. Right, let's see if we can do anything with him. The trick is to get him upside down, but that's easier said than done. Right. Get the score drawn in, see if we can get him unhooked without touching him. Should be a result. We have. He's got the disgorger on. Oh, hook actually swallowed a bit, as they do. But he did a crocodile roll. And we looked him. Fantastic. Never even had to touch him. <laughs> Not that I don't mind touching him, but they're. Uh, they can be very, very slippery creatures, can't they? Yeah, very funny little tappy, tappy bite. Got really pleased we managed to get them unhooked. They can be a nightmare, can't they? Well, this river is certainly alive with fish. There's fright everywhere. Teeming with life. Happy rattly bites all the time. Even on meat. Except bizarrely in that in that forward peg we started. <laughs> Wasn't hard to get any bites on the bottom. I think I'll probably mess that peg up to be honest, trying to as I, as I said earlier, I think trying to do too many things. Should have either ledged or carried on on the float, we kind of did both. Kind of got some bait in on the bottom and was firing maggots and meat in over the top of it. I think perhaps it wasn't the way to go. Perhaps I should have either fished hard on the bottom and got the feed in one place or, you know, got a line of feed going down the swim. Never mind, every day's a school day, you live and learn. Yeah, I'm going to call it a day there. I have to go. But I have really, really enjoyed that. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's not been easy by any means and didn't go anything like I thought it would. But, you know, that's fishing, isn't it? You never quite know. Well, I'll definitely be able back to have a go at that forward peg again. It's a lovely looking peg. Perhaps when there's a bit more water on, I'm certainly going to be bread next time as well. But yeah, that's been good. And we had a couple of chub and an eel on meat. <laughs> that's what I love about this rod. It just packs up to nothing. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, as I say, I've got to go and do some work and I need to get a video ready for posting, which you will see tomorrow. But yes, now, fishing wise, where are we today? Wednesday. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday I'm out on the Y. Uh, invitation from a guy called Keith, who I went guiding with. Um, I took him guiding a month or so ago, and he's kindly invited me for another session. Uh, he's booked a ticket, so that's fantastic. So we've got a stretch to ourselves. Then the following day, I've got a guiding session with a chap called Paul, uh, Paul and a friend of his. We're gonna hopefully, hopefully touch wood, hopefully catch some barbel on the float. That's the plan, although the weather forecast for Saturday is looking a bit wet, so Sunday, the river might be coming up, um, the why I'm talking about, um, which will be good for the fishing. It'll certainly have the fish on the munch, but whether the float fishing will happen or not, I don't know. And then on Monday, I'm out with a chap called Kevin. So uh, looking forward to that as well. Um, I think Kevin wants to do a bit of float fishing, a bit of ledgering, Just go on the why, get some barbel, that's the plan. So fingers crossed, it all goes well for those sessions. 
But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you again very soon.